Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how you can easily develop a REST API using a PHP MySQL. Guys, uh, first we will check uh, what things we will handle in this uh, tutorial. Actually, here we will handle a CRUD operation like reading data, creating data, updating and deleting. So all four things we will handle here in this tutorial. Uh, so first we will check the database, then we will uh, check our project structure and uh, coding, you know, how we'll implement and then we will uh, check each section, means uh, each section of CRUD like read, create, update and delete using the Postman app uh, to see the how it, uh, it will work and what the output it will give and what things we need to uh, send to uh, create or update record or delete record. So, all things we will handle in this tutorial. So first, uh, we will uh, check the uh, database of our system. So the database is here. Uh, actually, here we have created a CRUD operation, CRUD underscore operation database. In which we have one table, employee. Actually, we will perform all the operations on the table uh, employee. So here we have a table uh, employee in which we have ID, primary, auto increment, name, skills, worker, address worker designation and so these are the field that uh, on which we will perform the operations of our CRUD like adding new record, reading record, updating record and deleting record. So uh, now we will move to uh, the next step uh, to uh, see the project structure of our system. So the project structure is here. Actually here we have a uh, uh, project uh, API, the directory API in which we have a uh, Two directory one is class and other one is EMP actually in EMP we have a PHP file like create to create a record delete to re record employee record read the uh, read dot PHP for reading record and update you know, dot PHP for updating a record also we have a ST access file in which we are handling the re uh, rewrite requests uh, for our URLs so also we have a class in which we have a red.php class in which we are implementing the method to perform the our crowd operation on employee data. So this is this is the structure of our project. So now let's uh, proceed to code. So actually the first one uh, file is uh, create create.php. So here in which we are requesting the method here using the doll and the server. So the requesting method is here. And then, actually, we are including the red.php class and then creating the object of this. And also, we have a switch case in which we are passing the request method. If the method is post, then we are calling the method inside employee here, passing the form post data. Otherwise, we are displaying the uh, returning the header like method not allowed. So this is the our um, create.php file in which we are creating file but also we have a read.php file this is a read.php file in which we have a getting the request method then we have a case actually there is a method different method like when we get the data then we have a method get and when we uh, create data then we have a method post so here we have a we are getting the data then we have a method get so we are checking the in switch case the method get and then we have a <coughs> we have uh, here checking the EMP ID. Actually, uh, suppose uh, we, we can get the all that data and, and get data by ID like here. Like we, uh, here, we are getting the all data. And suppose here ID is 15. If we pass the ID 15, then we have a record of that ID, that is specific ID of employee. So here uh, we are also checking if there is a get id then we have a mp id and get the employee record of that id otherwise we are getting all the cards of employee so here we are get, uh, calling the method get employee to get that all the card but the get employee record is uh, a method called using the api object the api object created here so let's see the rest.php class so here is our rest.php class in which we have a private variable in which we have a Database connection details like local hall, root, password, database name, and table employee. Then we have a constructor in which we have a DB connect. Here we have a private variable in which we have a DB. If 
wherever not uh, actually DV not connected, then we have a MySQL I passing the all detail like host, user, password, database, and connected to the MySQL database. And then we have we are returning that connection. Actually, it's return the connection and return the connection to the DV connect. So here is uh, here we are making the connection to the database database. Now we have a method. Actually, we have included here create the object of our REST class. Then we are calling the method get employee. So we will see the get employee method here. Here, this is the get employee method in which we are we have also passed the AMP ID as a parameter here. We are checking if MP ID, then we are also adding the where clause with ID. Otherwise, we have a select ID name skill side is from the table and then we are storing the record in the into the array and then returning as a json data to uh, display there so here we have returned the json uh, json data and the json data is here when uh, request is made the json data is displayed here like uh, if we get this without specifying the, all the data as a json format is returned here so here this is the our read functionality now we'll check how this is working in our postman app so now here is our postman app actually we have a url here like uh, the same url we will use here method is get now we will send request and now all the costs are listed here like this one this one you can see here the records are listed here all the costs are listed here so now if you want to want some specific like id5 then if you pass here 5 the record is returned here like if uh, pass here 15 then the different record is returned like this so this is the our read functionality the read uh, method uh, read request uh, work like this so returning the all json data you can say the raw data pretty data like so actually it's the JSON data. So now we have a JSON data here using the read method. Now we, we will move to the next method here. The next is create the data. So here, here is create.php file. We have a create.php file getting the request method. Actually, when we create the data, then we need to submit data. Actually, we need to submit form data to create a new record here. So here we you can see here we are also, uh, again including the rate.php class having the object of rest and then we have a request method uh, checking the case here switch case post if the method is post then we will call method insert employee otherwise here we we have a header method not allowed so here you can see here we are passing the form post data here so we will see the insert employee method here you can see here this is the insert employee method getting the emp data now we have a emp name emp age actually we will uh, the create record api request need to get data uh, in a format like uh, with field like emp name emp age emp skills emp address emp design so these uh, field need to be passed to uh, pass in form to save the data so here we have a emp form data then we have a insert query here to inserting the call into into the emp table here we are passing the values to insert the calls and then if record is inserted successfully then we have a employee create successfully message and interest as one otherwise employee creation failed and it is a zero and then we are sending the request as a we are creating showing the data as a array uh, response uh, in a array like status and status message and then we have a header content type application json actually we are returning the data header json so we are here setting the json header and then we are passing the json in code data here the, the response is returned as a uh, json data so now uh, we will see how it, it is working actually here you can see we have a uh, recourse here like uh, we have currently uh, currently we have five records here uh, suppose uh, now uh, we will uh, create the records here so 
uh, we have a create we will create a record using the create method so now we have a create uh, here url will with, with create and then also we have a post method here now we have a post method here now we will pass actually uh, you have seen we, we need to pass mp name mpas uh, mp skills mp address so here we have a fields like this so now uh, we don't need this mp name like we can enter something anything we can uh, like your root is mp skills we can enter some uh, skills like uh, we have a java html mysql mp address like something paris mps anything and designation is software engineer so all these uh, things actually here you can see we have a body in which we have a form data actually we are passing a form data uh, post uh, with post method to save the record now actually here actually we have already seen we have a five record here so now we have uh, we are going to create a new record with joe root so now we will send this you can see status equal one it status message you can employ creator successfully now we'll check the database the new record is created here you can see here the new record is created here this one now total record is six record so now we have uh, created the new record using the uh, form data now the next step is to so now we have seen the read data create data now we have a uh, update data so we have a uh, for updating the cause we have update.php in which we are getting the request method here and passing the switch statement and checking the case post actually here we are again checking the post method here so we have a post method here and then calling the update employee again actually when uh, creating or updating we need to pass the form data here so we have a pass here form data here so now we will check the update employee uh, method so here is update employee method you can see here like we are checking the emp id actually for updating any record we need to uh, need an idea mp idea of a that employee because so we have a, a checking if imp employee id is it then we, we are getting the form post value like mp name emp age mp skills mp address mp designer then we have a update query here so here update on mp table then set the name mp name mp age mp skills mp address mp designation mp data and then we are here executing the query here and if uh, the data is updated successfully then we have a message employee updated successfully status one otherwise em employee update failed here so here employee update is failed here and the status is zero so now otherwise if id is not there then we have a message invalid request with status zero and then we are storing the status and message into the array and emp response and then we have a header application js and then we are returning the data as json emp response as a json data we are returning here so now we see the employee record update functionality in our postman so now we have a we call update here like our url will be here update and also method post here again and now actually we have updated this, this uh, we have added created this new record your root now i uh, suppose we want to change the uh, like uh, age 25 to like some, something 35 and paris to london then uh, we need to add id here actually we need to add id here id is the id is uh, what id id 17 so we need to pass the id 17 we need to ch change like we have 35 and i want to change uh mp address so like suppose paris to france and then also can add some 
it feels like uh, my school and then also like css so now we we will update the records here so now we will send request and now he is displaying status equal one you can see here it status equal one and it status message employee updated successfully here now we'll check in our database now here so the, you can see here now is is updated with css added also a 35 also we can make a change like any other record here so you can make a, 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 any other record so here you have seen we have updated record here now uh, suppose we want to uh, delete a record so next step uh, guys uh, now we have read the record create record and update the record now we have uh, another action delete because so here we are again getting the request method get the api object then checking the get method here if method get then we are checking the mp id if there is a mp id then uh, we are calling that delete employee record here you can see otherwise we are displaying method not allowed now we see that delete record here actually this is the employee delete record. first we are checking if emp id if emp id exists then we perform deletion otherwise we will return the message invalid api request if employee emp id exists then we have a query delete delete from mp table where id equal this order by id descending okay so we are deleting here uh, so now uh, we have mysql query executor then employee delete delete successfully with status one otherwise employee delete failed so now this is the method in which we are handling the delete employee request so now we will delete the record here so we'll ch check this in our, po our postman so now we have a delete method and then we have ideal suppose we want to delete a record any record like uh, we want to this one like id 15 we want to delete record id 15 so now we will pass the id 15 here and method is our get method now we we'll send the request here employee you can see here status one employee delete successfully you can see the message now we will check the records in our database here you can see here 15 id 15 record is deleted successfully so this is the functionality of our delete so guys you have seen the read create update and delete all methods you have seen here this one uh, reading the records creating the record record update the record and delete the record so all these functionalities guys i have uh, discussed here explain code and also check in our postman app to perform the operation so guys i hope you have enjoyed the tutorial it's a very important very useful uh, tutorial very useful functionality to use in your application so guys I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so don't forget to like and share our tutorial and also subscribe our channel thank you